All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at the concept of grouping. Uh, you saw in a previous video how when you take a solid object and a whole object, you can actually group them to create a new shape. Okay? But there's other reasons for grouping. And so I'm going to show you this example with, uh, with our camera model. So here's our little 3D model of a fake camera and it's got multiple different pieces currently as part of the model or attached to the model and so let's say that I just wanted to resize the whole thing sometimes or just move it to a new location maybe um, you could you could select it all like this but you'd have to do that every time to make sure that you had all the pieces together so another way to do this is actually just to group those pieces into one object and the way you do that is you select it all as if you were capturing every object and you just hit group now notice what happens though first of all everything becomes one color to signify that it is one piece uh, the great thing is once you have it grouped now you can change its uh, size and you can move it around just as if it were a single object um, and also, I, I often let students know that, you know, when you're working in color like this, you have to understand that the color that actually gets printed out is depending upon what color we have in the 3D printers at the moment. And so even though it's red on the screen, it's not really, it may or may not be red when it actually comes time to print. Um, but visually, if you didn't want it to all look the same color, you could actually take this object and you click on solid up here in the top right and you could actually switch it back to multicolor and by doing that it's still grouped as one object but it's got the different original colors that you had uh, when you were putting this together so you can make it look like it used to uh, while still being a single object okay and finally in this video I want to show you one other uh, aspect to Tinkercad which is called mirroring and let's just say I wanted to create another object just like this camera but I wanted it to be reversed so that everything was on the opposite side uh, I'm gonna hold my option key down and I'm gonna drag a new one out and so now I have these two cameras but I want this one to look almost like a mirror image of this one and the way I do that is I click on it I select flip and this is going to show me different ways I can flip it on different axis, axes, right? So I'm going to flip it in this direction. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a second object that's exactly the opposite of this one. Now that might come in handy for you if you're building, for example, let's just say a, a, a robot or something where they've got arms and legs and hands. You might work on a hand on one side and when you're all done with it and got it to look exactly as you wanted it to, you would do a mirror image to make the other hand without having to rebuild that. So that's where the uh, mirror or flip tool comes in handy. 